Right? Is it not working? Nope. All right. So it powers on. Once you connect it, it automatically detects it. Yeah. So and it's ready. You hit boost. Okay. And there was, I don't know if you heard it, but there was a click. Yeah, I heard it click over. So now I flip the switch. Hey guys, Rex here. I got a little piece of equipment to show you that I found very helpful here on the homestead here where we have a lot of different little garden tractors, big tractors and vehicles, four wheel drives, cars, etc. that require jump starting, particularly when you're not rotating through all your vehicles consistently or in, your, in the winter time or when you got old vehicles like I do, or if you just got any vehicle that sometimes needs a jump start. This sucker is handy. So this is the Gulu, okay? There it is right there. And this is the Turbo Series GT4000S 100 watt jump starter. So I'm old school, I didn't know. I mean, I remember when these things existed when I was a kid, they were heavy, like a heavy suitcase. And it was like carrying around a couple car batteries. Yeah, not super efficient to carry around, not really practical. Portability is everything. This thing is not that heavy. It's lithium batteries. It's very powerful. Uh, so I use this to start my big old diesel. If a guy lets it sit too long, right? And, or if it's cold weather and it, sometimes you lose the cold cranking amps, like when it's really cold, I just hook this sucker onto there. We got hookups and these, it's funny, these little tiny connectors here you put on little tiny jump starters and it works better than hooking it up and faster to another vehicle. I don't know what grade components they're using here, but it works very efficiently. I mean, I've jump started vehicles hundreds of times in my life and this sucker is pretty handy. Um, my little brother recommended these to me like a couple years ago. And so we got one a year or two ago and um, you can see this like on Project Farm, Man, these things are freaking, they work really good. And they're super handy. I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this with my own money. But I'll share a link below to this exact model. But this has been very, very handy for me on the farmstead here. Just shuffling around vehicles to jumpstart something, something depending on how you park, can be impossible or very difficult to do in heavy snow. We can't get like next to a vehicle, the jumper cables, and I carry around premium jumper jumper cables too, the heavy ones, they're like $100 jump, jumper cables, because I've had problems with jumper cables before coming apart or not having enough flow through. But this is way handier. Uh, typically the wife will keep this in the back seat or in the pouch behind the driver's seat just as kind of a backup deal. And if you need a jump, you don't need, like where it's real rural out here, you don't need to ask someone for help. You don't need to wait four hours for a car to drive by that'll stop to help give you a jump that you can just jump yourself in like a minute. And so this for her has been handy because trying to start up another vehicle, drive it over, dig it out so you can get next to the other one, get the cables hooked on and all that stuff is just too tedious. We've done that enough times uh, the price on this thing is not near as high as I thought it should be. Like it's uh, below $200. Worth every single penny. This was pure money. It's really simple to work. Basically, once it's charged, you just charge it up. You can charge it up on your phone charger. You can charge it up on a computer. You can charge it up on a cigarette lighter. It charges fast on a cigarette lighter, real fast. Um, if you put it in a wall charger, it's real fast, like... Not, uh, I, I don't want to tell you times because we've had a whole variety of different drainage on here. It depends on temperature and stuff like that too. But it's like an hour or two. It's fully charged or a few minutes in some cases. But we have a whole variety of different, there's USB ports in different ways. And so it can be universally can use this to charge stuff. Very, very, very cool. And if you read the full instructions, this thing has a lot of flexibility and other stuff it can do. 
But I would absolutely recommend this for real. Like if you have more than one vehicle and it, it, you're going to need this because the likelihood of you needing a jump is going to be big. If you have one vehicle only, you're definitely going to need this because you don't have another vehicle to jump you. And guess what? If you're alone on the highway or on the road or you're hunting, you only have one vehicle, period. Automatically, because you're not by your other vehicles now. What, are you going to walk 40 miles to your house to get the other vehicle to drive it over to jump it? I've almost been stranded in the middle of nowhere, like in the Badlands, because of needing a jump start, not having the proper stuff. Now, we made do. We made it work. We got MacGyver. We got it running. But I'm telling you, pretty darn handy. So I got it with the excuse that is super handy for the wife because she can just go and jumpstart a vehicle in one minute. She doesn't need my assistance. Or if she's at the grocery store and she needs it, like I don't have to drive 40 miles. However, I use this as well. You can just like, if you got a garden tractor parked in the barn and you need to jumpstart it, it's difficult to move all the stuff out of the way to get other stuff lined up to get in there. It's just a pain in the butt. I just walk in there and literally put this on the little garden tractor. Boom, starts right up. Use this for my little John Deere tractor. Use this for my Kubota. Use this for big diesel pickups, big uh, V8s. Stuff that's completely, totally dead. Jump it right up. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's a tool that has paid for itself multiple fold already. Just in the two years. And we've got a lot of reps and sets. We've used this all the time. Rex get better vehicles. Mm. They're good. Just sometimes, if you've lived in extreme cold weather and you use your stuff hard, you're gonna you're gonna have to the, have an option to jump start just as an emergency. It's a, a safety thing too. So I don't know what you do for business. Maybe it's a write off. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But very very handy tool for us. So hope that hopefully this helpful. Rex out. Weasel's nest in here. Oh, maybe a little bit. We got mice. Wonder where they're living. Oh, they're getting into that wiring harness too there. Yeah. Well, they turn up that insulation here. All this. Yeah. Terrible, I might bite you. <laughs> If you don't use these cars, they go bad quick. You get comfortable. So it powers on. Once you connect it, it automatically detects it. Yeah. So and it's ready. You hit boost. Okay. And there was, I don't know if you heard it, but there was a click. Yeah, I heard it click over, so now I flip the switch. So it was down about 84%, but we just plug it into a little charger like this. Hey, okay. got it. So it's charging now. Rock and roll. <laughs> 